So after the recent events for Attack on Titan, one thing that has kind of alluded to me that I'm rather curious in is a potential rematch between Eren and Reyna. Ultimately, for people that want that fight to happen, we may be in for a pretty good time. Unfortunately, I don't really know the outcome for it. So today we're going to kind of run through some semantics for that fight and the potential and possibility for it, but also maybe some outcomes that could definitely change up the ending or at least our perception of the ending right now. So at the moment, uh, Marley has waged an attack on Eren specifically. There's a lot of things that kind of take a place with his attack. I know a lot of people are kind of like, wow, Marley's doing a really good job. And then on the other hand, it's like Marley's really dumb for attacking Eren right now. I'm kind of in the middle because I think their attack is heavily orchestrated. They obviously have a lot of people on the ground and obviously in the air right now with more people most likely on their way on the ground. So I think they definitely have a plan, obviously in motion. I think that's kind of an obvious showcase with Eren being led outside into a trap, basically. But even though they have Eren out here right now, what exactly can they achieve? Unless they have some really big titan slaying weapons, kind of similar to the Thunder Spears, what exactly can they do against Eren? They have a couple of titans on the ground, uh, they don't really have much going on for them in terms of power, especially over Eren and other uh, titans that are a part of Eren's group regarding Zeke. Uh, but then you also have Armin and Mikasa, which are kind of like in the middle at this point. We don't really know what they're doing or how they feel about the situation, uh, let alone do we know how they're going to act. But then we also have the Jaegerus, so the human soldiers that Eren has supporting him, that also kind of beefing up his army. What exactly is Mali trying to do right now? Is this a precursor for the big fight, or are they really trying to kick off a pretty big war right now? I think they were smart, but also silly about their decision making, obviously depending on what they're trying to do. One, I think attacking Eren before he rekindles with everything and obviously sets a big plan in motion regarding everyone was a pretty smart play. Obviously attacking him while he's off guard and not really prepared for anything is a pretty good thing. However, they don't necessarily have the manpower to actually take out Eren at this point, unless they have people on their side, like I was saying. So the only thing that I can kind of allude to at this point is Reyna. And if they're going to use the Armored Titan, which I don't think would necessarily be much of a fight for Eren at this point, but if we have the Armored Titan and the Jaw Titan, and then somehow Peck or Peek or however you pronounce her name, I know you guys roasted me for that one, kind of joins the battle. That's three different people versus Eren. And then obviously if Zeke comes into the picture and then uh, Armin and Mikasa, then once again Mali is severely outnumbered and outbalanced. So with that kind of idea in our heads, it seems like that would be the most prevalent thing that they could do. Try to get Eren off guard, whether to try and capture him or even kill him, I'm not entirely sure, and then ultimately beat the clock. Try to get as many titans down there in a short amount of time, so the armored titan, the jaw titan, and then potentially peak, and then from there, try their best to subdue Eren in some type of way, or at least try and take him out. I think a fight like that would be really good right now. I think it would really showcase that Eren is not as unstoppable as a lot of people think he is. Obviously, he has a massive plan in motion. Obviously, he seems untouchable at this point. He holds himself very highly, but this would kind of bring him down a level, make him feel a lot more real. Uh, I don't think he would get obliterated by these three titans, but I do think that they would put up a pretty good fight, especially if they have a plan with Marley up in the airships. What's to say Eren can't absolutely obliterate those airships in an instance? regarding the Warhammer Titan ability, or even kind of just picking stuff up and throwing it. Like, what if Zeke comes along and just obliterates the airships out of the sky? Did they really not think of that, or are they kind of trying to play this game of chess where they're three steps ahead? Because if they're firing down, let's say, Thunder Spears at Eren and trying to kind of capture him quickly before Zeke and everyone else kind of arrives, or at least try and destroy him, that would make a lot more sense, and the airships in the sky would have a lot better chance of actually surviving. If this fight were to go down, you can imagine it's going to be pretty massive. I do think a couple of these people would actually be killed. I think Peek, for example, would probably be killed, and I wouldn't be surprised if Gabby was the one to take the card Titan. Now, I don't know exactly how we'd get to that situation, but I feel like we're kind of building up to that point of Gabby becoming this really important character, or at least a more pivotal character, regarding being a Titan Shifter. It'd make a lot of sense. She's playing a very vital role right now, showing the confliction between Marley and Eldie and their circle of hatred and how that kind of influences their children and Gabby is a perfect representation for that. So to give her a more pivotal role on top of it, I think would be very impactful and extremely important. So maybe the jaw tide. The reason why I don't say the armored tide 
Titan is one of two things. One, either Eren gets the Armored Titan, or two, somehow Falco gets it, which I think would also be a pretty nice idea if Falco is obviously still alive after ingesting uh, Zeke's spinal fluid and potentially eating the Armored Titan would save him. But then again, we don't know where Falco is at the moment, at least by the words of Eren, he's somewhere. I do want to run back to the idea of Eren actually obtaining the Armored Titan. I think if Reyna is willing to fight, this will be his final encounter. They've been building up Reyna for quite a bit of time regarding his death and him kind of leaving the story. So him going out in a pretty flashy way, I think would be pretty impactful. I know a lot of people like his character and he's kind of just been following orders this entire time, uh, especially understanding Eren. At this point, I think the fight would hold a lot of weight and a lot of impact between both of them. I think it's about time that another pivotal character that's played a very important role for the entirety of the story, you know, the Colossal Titan and the Armored Titan being kind of the main stage for the Titans uh, regarding the entirety of the series comes to a conclusion. And and I wouldn't be surprised if Eren did obtain the Armored Titan. That would kind of go back into the idea that Eren is trying to obtain all the Titans to a certain extent, but obviously we're not going to go there with that idea. I've talked about it way too many times and a lot of people seem very weird about it. Even though it kind of makes the most sense, or at least right now has the most importance to it, considering it's an event or a situation that has never really been talked about in the entirety of the story. So relaying that information now, especially with Zeke's plan and him seeing Ymir, Eren having three different Titans in him, potentially a fourth one with the Armored Titan. You know, the Jaw Titan is also in his grasp. The Kant Titan is also there. Hell, if none of what we previously talked about just before happens, Eren may obtain all of them. At this point, that wouldn't even surprise me. I think that would be really awesome as well. It also kind of depends on what Eren's trying to do. Is he just trying to obtain power then he realizes that obtaining all of the Titans would kind of be beneficial for everything but then he'd have to also kill Armin as well on top of Zeke and on top of Annie who's in a crystal which ultimately leads me to another video that I'm probably going to talk about soon regarding Annie and kind of her importance most likely in the entirety of the story and how that could correlate to a specific ending regarding the nine Titans right but we'll get back to that so far with everything that's building there is a couple of people or a couple of players I should say that aren't really in the open right now Levi being one of them I don't think Levi is out for the count and I do think he will play a very centrifugal role to whatever is about to happen I don't know how long he would actually need to heal and kind of thrive as a fighter once again but I don't think he's completely obliterated he doesn't have fingers he may not even have a hand but hopefully he will play an important role maybe in the upcoming chapters or in the future at least. I think that will reflect heavy on his character and whatever he decides to do with Eren or even Zeke for example is going to hold a lot of weight. Right now this lineup is looking extremely interesting. I'm very excited to see what Eren decides to do, whether the Jaw Titan absolutely gets obliterated, whether the Kant Titan somehow manages to transform and break free of the chains with Gabby and if Reyna ultimately jumps out of one of those airships and comes down and tries to fight. All right, we're looking at a pretty big situation Everyone's about to scramble most likely when they hear everything's about to go down. Armin and Mikasa are probably going to head over to that direction as well. Even that situation is extremely mysterious. We really don't know what Armin is thinking. Obviously, he's not going to directly fall under Eren's kind of motive and situation just because he understands the euthanasia plan. But uh, Armin's a very intelligent character and he probably sees through and understands a lot of different things uh, compared to other characters. So I wouldn't be surprised if he has something up his sleeve right now. Hell, he may even have a situation that he wants to confront with Eren regarding the future, even regarding the plan. That wouldn't surprise me at this point. Mikasa is just kind of along for the ride at this point, but I do believe she'll play a very important role soon. Uh, at least she'll get some more panel time, maybe in this upcoming fight. And I think that would really help kind of emphasize the importance of their characters and bring them back into the moment, which I think would be really nice. Does Armin come along and turn into the Colossal Titan to help Eren fight these Titans that are attacking him? Does Mikasa come along and be forced to help Eren regarding the Ackerman curse and how they are forced to follow and protect someone that they respect and kind of look up to as a king. All that right now is well and truly in motion. I'm very excited to see it kick off and see everyone's reaction to Eren transforming and fighting off a bunch of titans, hopefully. With that being said, that is basically it. At this point, All Out War is about to begin and we best be ready for some hopefully pretty eventful fights with some pretty amazing outcomes, give or take. With that being said, that is basically it. Yeah, let me know how you guys feel about the current situation uh, regarding Attack on Titan. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. 
But I'm actually going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.